Hello there everybody. My name is Emily and today I am very excited because I'm going to be reading you the story of how Jesus was born. It's the Nativity of course. Now I hope you're sitting very comfortably because I am so excited to share this story with you. Now then, let's begin. It all started in a little town called Nazareth where a young lady named Mary lived. She was looking very much looking forward to getting married. And one day an angel came to visit her. Don't be afraid, said the angel. God has chosen you for something very special. You are going to have a baby, God's own son. You must call him Jesus. He will bring you God's blessings to all of the world. Goodness, Mary was very surprised, but she agreed, of course. I will do as God wants, she said. Goodness me, I'm not sure how I would feel if an angel appeared to me. Perhaps I would feel surprised and maybe a little bit nervous. Mary's got such a big job to do. How special. Mary was looking forward to marrying Joseph, of course. But when Joseph heard Mary's news, he was a little worried. But then the angel spoke to him in a dream. Take care of Mary, said the angel. Her baby is God's own son. He will bring God's blessings to all the world. Joseph was very puzzled, but he said he would take care of Mary, of course. Together, they went to take part in a great counting of people that was being done in Bethlehem. They travelled to Bethlehem on a donkey. I hope you can see my picture. Here's the donkey look. <gasps> Goodness me. That's a very long way to travel when you're carrying a baby, especially on a donkey. Now, because everybody was being counted in Bethlehem, it meant that there was not many places for Mary and Joseph to stay. They had a little bit of trouble finding somewhere. And there was one place left to ask. They knocked very, very hesitantly. Hello? Have you any room? And an innkeeper replied, I'm sorry, no room here today. Being very disappointed and exhausted, poor Mary and Joseph turned away to try and find somewhere else. But much to their surprise, the innkeeper said, oh, Wait a moment, I do have somewhere for you to stay. But it is where I keep my animals. In the stable, of course. Oh, well that's fine for us, said Mary. And around the back they went to the stable. And there it was, Mary's baby was born. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him to sleep in a manger. I know a song about a manger, do you? Away in a manger. I'll stop in case it rains. <laughs> anyway, out in the fields nearby, shepherds were watching their sheep when an angel appeared. Do not be afraid, said the angel. Tonight in Bethlehem, a baby has been born. God's special king who will bring God's gifts and blessings to the world. <gasps> then all the angels sang together for joy. The shepherds went to Bethlehem and they found Mary and the baby just as the angel had said. Oh, that is so exciting. I wonder if the shepherds knew how special Jesus was really going to be. Far away, wise men saw a special star in the night sky. It's a sign that a new king has been born, they said. We must go and find him. Here they are, travelling on their camel, following the star. Hmm, I wonder what gifts they took to baby Jesus. Was it chocolate chip cookies? No, that's not right. Was it, oh, I know, was it marshmallows? No, I don't think that's right either, is it? Um... Silver? Silver? Was it silver? No. Hmm. 
I wonder what they took to baby Jesus. Do you know what the three wise men took as gifts for the new baby king? Oh, really? Well, let's see if you're right. The star led them to the place where Jesus was. They bought him gifts of gold. I'm sure you got that one right. Frankincense and myrrh. You got them all right. Well done. They were much better than my answers. Silly me. Mary smiled as she looked around at all the people that had come to celebrate the new baby king. The king who will bring God's blessings to the world, she said to herself. And the rest was history. Jesus grew up to do many, many miracles and spread lots of love and lessons to the people that he knew and that he helped. <sighs> what a lovely story. I wonder if some of you, you lovely people that are watching, are going to do a version of the Nativity or have already done a version of the Nativity when you was a little bit younger or last year or last week or yesterday. Hmm. I wonder what characters you will be. Now, it is time for me to go. I have really enjoyed reading you this story today and I hope you have a very, very lovely Christmas. Keep safe and spread lots of love and joy to all your friends and family. Goodbye and thank you.